Hello, thanks for coming to the Life Sciences Scotland website to have a look at the 2017 Life Sciences Scotland Strategy Refresh document. My name is Dave Trudor, I work for GlaxoSmithKline and I'm the new recently appointed Industry Leadership Group Chairman for Life Sciences Scotland. You know, the Industry Leadership Group is set up to make sure that we develop the strategy for the sector and make sure that we put mechanisms and systems in place to execute that strategy, in particular able to show success. The strategy itself uh, is very clear. There are four exciting themes that I want to draw your attention to. The first one is about innovation commercialisation. Whether that innovation is a new product, a new service or a new piece of IT, we believe in Scotland that we are generating good IP and it's important that we maximise the return to the, the country. And this whole part of the strategy is focused on making sure that we put the right mechanisms in place to help promote the right environment for that to happen. It's not just, of course, about the products that we innovate in Scotland, but it's also about adopting innovation elsewhere in the world and making sure that patients and people in Scotland get access to that. The second area is about internationalisation. You know, we have some fantastic companies based in Scotland who are doing a super job exporting year on year, but there are more opportunities to come. There are more countries that we can export to, and there are a number of our Scottish company base who are not yet exporting. There is an opportunity in partnership with SDI to really grow this part of the life sciences strategy. The third area is about production sustainability. We have a good healthy base of production in Scotland, again whether it's a product, a service or an IT system. And we want to make sure that the Indigenous companies are growing and that we are supporting them to do that and at the same time we've got a very compelling case for helping companies to come and invest in Scotland and create new manufacturing or production capabilities. The fourth area is to enhance the business environment. The business environment to operate in Scotland is already very compelling. But there are some areas we need to continue to build on. For example, the infrastructure we have. For example, driving the skills investment plan that we have. Looking at the regulatory framework. And in particular, looking to make sure that our procurement procedures are supporting this sector. So this is an exciting time to be involved in the life sciences sector. And of course, uh, recently you will have heard about the new figures issued for the sector. You can, we can see that the turnover has increased to £4.3 billion and the GVA is now at £2 billion. Pounds. That represents a 5% year-on-year growth since 2010. And of course, we have 700 organisations and over 37,000 employees in this sector. So it's an exciting time for, the, for us and it's an exciting time for this refresh of the strategy. I really do hope that you will get behind the strategy. I know working in partnership with Scottish Enterprise, they will be there to work alongside your organisation to help you be a success. I invite you now to come and work alongside us and I look forward to meeting you in the future. Thank you very much.